Hey everyone, welcome back to React course. In this lecture, we will understand what is React element. So before we start understanding React element, let's talk about a document object model first. So let's overview how document object model work. HTML is a simple set of instructions that the browser follows when constructing the document object model or DOM. The element that makes up an HTML document become DOM elements when the browser loads HTML and render the user interface. So basically, we are using HTML to construct document object model elements. So this is our simple heading tag. Creating a simple heading level element in HTML is equal to the DOM statement like this. Using the DOM API, you can create the same DOM elements which you can create using HTML. Updating or changing render DOM elements in the JavaScript is relatively easy. However, the process of inserting new elements is painfully slow. Managing DOM elements with JavaScript efficiently can become very complicated and time consuming. The solution for this is React. React is a library that is designed to update the browser DOM for us. With React, we do not interact with the DOM API directly. Instead, we interact with the virtual DOM or a set of instructions that React will use to construct the UI and interact with the browser. The virtual DOM is made up of React elements, which conceptually seem similar to the HTML elements, but are actually JavaScript objects. Now, you know that how browser can understand HTML and use DOM to create user interface. Now, let's talk about React element. The browser DOM is made up of DOM elements. Similarly, the React DOM is made up of React elements. DOM elements and React elements may look the same, but they are actually quite different. A React element is a description of what the actual DOM element should look like. In simple words, React element are the instructions for how the browser DOM should be created. We can create a React component to represent an h1 heading tag using react.createElement method. So using this method, you can create a React element. The first argument defines the type of element that we wish to create, like h1, span, or paragraph. You can also define components. The second argument represents the element's properties. We did not specify any property to the h1 heading tag right now. We will understand how to specify React element property in the next lecture. The third argument represents the element's children or inner HTML text. So the React element is just a JavaScript literal that tells React how to construct the DOM element. Now let's talk about React DOM. React DOM contains the tools necessary to render React element in the browser. React DOM is where we will find the render method. Now when you have your element in the DOM, we need to append this element in the DOM tree. So the React use a render method to render this DOM element. Now let's see how this method look like. So this is our simple React DOM render method. In the first argument of this render method, we will specify element which we wanted to render on the browser. And the second argument is a container element where you want to append your child element. So the second argument is your parent node and the first argument is your child node, right? Now let's put the previously created h1 heading tag in the render method and let's see how it should look like. So to create a react element, we are using react object with create element method. So now we will create react element. So I will just say let h1 is equal to react dot create element and in the parenthesis the first argument is our tag so i will just say h1 here we wanted to create h1 heading tag so i will just say h1 here right the second argument represent the elements properties and just after that i will specify some text to the h1 heading tag now i just wanted to render this react element in the dom so i will just say react dom dot render I will call the render method and specify our element first. So on the first argument, I will say h1. So this is my react element 
and specify comma and in the second argument i will specify the parent node where i wanted to insert my element i wanted to insert my element in the division tag so i will just say here document dot get element by id and specify id of the div element right so when you execute this the output should look like this right so you have your div element inside h1 heading tag in the next lecture we will create first react program that's it i hope you understand this lecture if you have any question you can ask me in the comment Answering the questions specified in the comment will definitely help you to improve your knowledge. That is all for now. We will see you in the next lecture.